Today is the second day at ITNCM Asia 2023 in Bangkok and right now we are with Mr. Jose, Director of Sales and Marketing, Ramada Plaza by Windham, Bangkok. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We are, I'm doing very well. It's the last day of the event and the event is going well with many global buyers no? and we, there are many interests to uh, book the events and the hotel for next year. So we are also got some already inquiries. No? And it's a good uh, time for us to renew also all the relations with all the MICE organizers and uh, tour operators. Uh, and the hotel is doing very well. We, every month we have different uh, uh, events coming from uh, uh, Asia Pacific, but also from Europe. You know? And uh, especially for high season November onwards, we are already uh, congested and there are already, already some events planned. You know? And uh, the hotel is doing very well. Our hotel is uh, have 500 rooms. It's, uh, all the rooms are renovated. And uh, we are right on the river. We can uh, organize events also outdoor or indoor. You know? And uh, if the guests, they have some uh, free time, they can also use the shuttle boat of the hotel to go uh, for the tour by the river. You know? and, uh, or they can go in the evening at the Asiatic Night Market. Uh, it's only walking distance 500 meters from the hotel. And there they can have a good dinner in many different restaurants and bars and also shops for the last minute shopping and also do some shows and uh, and also massage so the property is a full service uh, hotel so they can uh, they have many options during their stay thank you very much and hope to welcome you soon at the Ramada Plaza uh, share with us about your marketing plans for next year to attract more guests to your hotel. The, usually we, we participate in uh, uh, major fairs. So by next year we plan to attend the ITB in uh, Germany, Berlin. No? And then uh, right now I'm also right after this event, no, next week I will be attending the Top Risa in France and then uh, TTG in Rimini, Italy. And then uh, our plan is to also, since we are getting also a lot of uh, uh, FIT guests no? uh, in, many, in many countries, because uh, on the riverside there are many interests for the different nationalities. So we, try to, we want to upgrade the rooms again. No? So we want to facelift uh, half of the standard rooms and then uh, yeah, with new furniture and also invest more money for the facelifting of the room. How your property is attracting its guests as in terms of mines? The, the property is uh, is fit for the mice because uh, we are right on the river. It's a easy. We are in the prime location, and we have uh, meeting rooms from 10 to 500 people. Now we have about 20 function rooms, and we can do indoor and outdoor events. No, so in the evening you can also have gala events. No, outdoor by the river, by the terrace. No, on the riverside, or no. Uh, Usually, the events that we are getting are coming from like uh, pharma, from IT, you know, from different countries like Singapore, France, you know, Italy, you know, all these. Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, uh, the location is very good. So that's why you, know, uh, uh, you can do business and leisure at the same time. You know? So when... Uh, when you are, the hotel is also very big. We have enough space, uh, not like any, uh, the new hotels, no? We still have the luxury of space. So that's why for meetings, it's uh, nice, no? Because uh, there's a bit more privacy, no? And then if they have free time, they can, uh, they can also, each one can, can uh, do last minute decision for the tour, no? 
We have tour desks by the lobby. We have transportation company uh, outside the lobby also. So very easy for the guests to make plans. No? Share with us about the uh, tourists from the countries you want to come in your property. At the moment, we are very popular for for Western uh, people because of the location. And also, for example, we are getting events uh, uh, coming from Germany, you know, from different places, from Europe, and also from USA. You know. But at the same time, uh, we want to attract more uh, uh, Middle East market, you know, because it's a new market for the for Thailand. So we that's why we also uh, put up a halal kitchen now. So we can offer uh, halal food in the hotel very easily. And we have the Indian chef who organize all the diets of the guests. But at the same time for halal, we have the Pakistani chef, we have Malaysian chef. You know? okay. And then outside the hotel, we have also very easy to find halal food because there, outside the hotel, there is also the local Muslim community. Yeah. Thank you for the interview and thank you for this lovely interaction. Thank you very much.